while reducing the risk of COVID-19 in the community is a concern of cities and towns around Indiana, big and small. Noblesville Mayor Chris Jensen is keeping City Hall and other city buildings open with some employees there, though, working remotely. In addition to the coronavirus crisis, Mayor Jensen is also focused on the future and Noblesville's next chapter. He joins me now in studio with the Tales. Mayor, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, uh, the coronavirus situation impacting all of us, cities, towns, businesses, uh, you name it. Uh, from a Noblesville perspective, what's been your focus with, with the coronavirus? Surely, it's, it's been front of mind for any local leader, any state leader, our goal is to continue to listen to those public health experts um, at the state level with the state health department, Dr. Box, and here at, in, in Hamilton County, the local health department, heeding their guidance. We went ahead and allowed some folks to work from home, as many businesses and government unit has done, but our goal is to keep City Hall open and reinforce the fact that our public safety folks, our frontline defenders of police and fire are there, ready to serve citizens as usual while yeah. maintaining our good social distance and other good yeah. practices. You're brand new uh, in office, certainly yeah. didn't expect to be no. facing uh, this no, challenge. No, Mayor did so didn't uh, leave this in the uh, transition report That's here. right. Yeah. Uh, but there is a lot going on mm -hmm. beyond this, uh, to be sure, in Noblesville. Noblesville's next chapter yeah. is really what you've been focusing on, your recent state uh, of the city address. You talked about that. Give us a kind of a thumbnail on Noblesville's next chapter. Absolutely. Well, Noblesville is the historic uh, county seat of Hamilton County. So we're now looking, though, that what does our future look like? How do we continue to preserve what is great about Noblesville, our history? historic downtown, but how, how do we also look to enhance it? How do we look at new ways to structure our economic development in our city? How do we focus on public safety and really transforming how we mm -hmm. tackle public safety in the city? How do we invest in wise ways with our infrastructure to enhance our north to south mobility, our east yeah. to west mobility? Yeah. Um, how do we talk about workforce development in all new ways? So yeah. that's all a big focus of our next chapter. And physically changing with a number of uh, pretty cool developments. One of them, uh, the lofts at 10th, a 7.7 .7 million dollar project. Yeah, what we realized as we started talking with folks is that we really lacked for millennial and empty nester baby boomer housing in our downtown. So many folks now, millennials and empty nesters want the same thing. They want that two bedroom apartment or condo that is walkable to our downtown. Folks want that urban feel, mm -hmm. but in a suburban community. So we're going to capture that with the lofts on 10th, also with the Levinson in downtown. And that's under construction. Under now, construction right? currently. So we'll increase a lot of our walkability and our livability in downtown Noblesville. We talk a lot about that, but uh, that, that's something that's very important mm -hmm. is this quality of place, connectivity, walkability, all very important to keep keep talent. People want to live, work, and play in the same community. And honestly, Gary, with a 3% unemployment rate, mm -hmm. nowadays companies are going to locate where people want to be. Mm -hmm. So we have to be that desirable community where folks can live, can walk to work, can walk to restaurants, all in the same central hub. Yep. Uh, obviously, in terms of economic development, Indiana has been on a roll from an economic development uh, standpoint. Uh, an India-based uh, company, Panacea, has announced plans for major investment uh, uh, there in Noblesville and lots of jobs as well. We're excited. You know, we have great partnership at the state with the IEDC, with Governor Holcomb, went on a trade mission this fall to India, teed really up this opportunity for us. We competed mm -hmm. against 15 different sites in the state, as well as sites in Wisconsin and Michigan. Panacea is going to be a $12 million investment. It's a medical diagnostic, cancer diagnostic mm -hmm. um, company, 65 jobs new to the city of Noblesville, average wage of $80,000 a year plus benefits, which is a huge boost to our local economy, a $12 million yeah. investment. Yeah, all kinds of jobs jobs, lots of communities are yep. after, and that leads to workforce. You touched on it a moment yeah. ago, Ivy Tech Community College uh, in the community there, mm -hmm. but as you look at workforce and the ability to produce the kinds of workers these companies need. You know, Gary, we have to do it differently than we did years ago. With a, such a low unemployment rate now, we have to make sure that we have different career paths for our young adults in Noblesville, and also then training for our existing workforce. If they want to skill up their workforce mm -hmm. or skill up their, their individual skills, we have those opportunities. We have Ivy Tech. We have a state-of-the-art our internship program with Noblesville High School and team. So we have to look at economic development completely different, and we're going to lead the way in Noblesville. Lots going on, to say the least, uh, in Noblesville, uh, specifically Hamilton County in general as well. Mayor Chris Jensen, uh, Mayor, great to have you here. Look forward to having you on many times in the great. future. Great. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate right. it.